A break from politics this week to talk about something a bit smaller. And yes, there is actually something smaller than Tony Abbott's vision. And it's called the Higgs boson. Now everybody knows that was discovered some time ago. The discovery was announced last week. And it is something very big for science. Very big indeed. It's not, let us be sensible, the God particle as it has been dubbed by some excitable tabloids. This idea was rejected indignantly by scientists who said they're talking science and not science fiction. But it's very important because the Higgs boson is what gives mass to every other particle. It gives it substance, it gives it matter. And why does matter matter? Well, if we didn't have matter, if we weren't made of matter, we'd fly apart in all directions like the Australian Parliament. And that would be not only untidy, but it would be the end of the universe as we know it. More devastating than the carbon tax. So how did this amazing discovery come about? Well, through unprecedented international effort. More than a thousand, sorry, more than a thousand scientists from more than a hundred countries were involved at the Large Hadron Collider, the machine buried under the ground near Geneva, which is a full 27 kilometres in circumference, accelerating atoms at smaller particles to enormous speeds close to that of light and smashing them together. The impact produces a condition very close to the birth of the universe, which of course was when the Higgs boson emerged. Now this is all very exciting, but it costs a hell of a lot of money. It costs about a billion dollars a year just to keep the Large Hadron Collider running. And we may say that Australia contributes a full 150,000 of it. A pittance, but it makes us a player. But, okay, so what's in it for us? Well, there's a precedent for that question. It used to be asked of Michael Faraday, the great English inventor of the last century, and he had a couple of answers for it. When asked what was the use of one of his inventions by the Prime Minister of the time, Robert Peel, Faraday replied, well, what's the use of a newborn baby? But he had a more practical answer for the Lord Chancellor, William Gladstone. Asked what was the use of one of his inventions, Faraday replied, well, my Lord, there's every probability that one day you will be able to tax it. And the invention of concerned? Well, Faraday had been the first to discover a practical means of generating an electric current and sending it along a wire. And you must admit that's turned out to be a nice little learner over the years. So what's the use of the Higgs boson? At the moment, we just don't know but we can guarantee there'll be unimaginable spin-offs from a discovery of this magnitude. And even if we don't live to see them, well, so what? We were alive for the discovery, and surely that's worth something. And I'm Mungo McCallum.